Welcome to Jules Math Tools, where math is made easy. In today's session, we are going to be converting a percentage into a mixed fraction in its lowest term. In our first example, we're going to be converting our percentage, 120%, into first changing it into its fractional form. And as you remember, every percentage is always out of 100, which means that my percentage, 120%, will be written as a fraction with 100 in its denominator. To begin simplifying my fraction, I'm now going to divide it by 20. So I will divide both my numerator and my denominator by 20, and 120 divided by 20 will equal to 6, and 100 divided by 20 will equal to 5. So now that I've simplified my fraction, I'm now going to change it into an improper fraction. And in case that I have some persons watching who may not remember how to change an improper fraction into a mixed fraction, I'm also going to go through those steps. Remembering that in changing an improper fraction into a mixed number, that means that I'm dividing my denominator 5 into my numerator 6. 5 goes into 6 once, 1 times 5 will equal to 5, 6 subtract 5 will leave us with a remainder of 1. And you must remember that your quotient at the top is your whole number. My remainder is my numerator. And my 5 which I divided by will remain as my denominator. And now writing this back as a mixed number, my one, which is my whole number, will be written large, and my numerator one will be written over my denominator of five. So as a mixed number, my percentage 120% is one and one fifth. Let's try another example. You can feel free at this point to pause the video and convert 136% into a mixed number and when you're ready you can unpause the video and follow along with me as I convert my percentage into a mixed number. So we're going to begin again by changing our percentage 136% into a fraction with 100 as its denominator. And now that I've changed my percentage into a fraction, we're now going to begin simplifying our fraction. And again, remember that if you can't find any numbers that you can divide your number by, you can always just move straight into your division and you will still end up with the exact same mixed fraction. The only difference is you may just have to perform your simplification after you've done the division. But I'm going to begin dividing my fraction by four. So 4 divides into 136, 34 times, and 4 will divide into 100, 25 times. And now that I have simplified my fraction as far as it can go, we're now going to perform our division by dividing 25 into our 34. 25 goes into 34 once. 1 times 25 will give us 25. And we're now going to perform our subtraction. Since 4 can't subtract 5, I'm going to borrow from 3, making it 2. And 14 subtract 5 will leave us with the difference of 9. And now we're going to rewrite our fraction as a mixed number, remembering that my quotient is at the top which is going to be 1 this is my whole number my remainder is again my numerator and the 25 which we divided by is our denominator so my mixed fraction will equal to 1 and 9 25 okay so there you have it we just practiced two examples on how to change our percentages into a mixed number and leave our answer in its simplest form so there you have it 
And again, thanks for watching. And remember, this is Jules Math Tools, where math is made easy.